Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your stability ball only glutes and core workout. What you're going to need today is your stability ball and you will also need a mat. The format today, one minute on, 15 seconds off for 15 exercises. So we have 15 minutes of total work. That's why I'm calling it a 15 minute workout. Do whatever you want to within the recovery. I'm gonna tell you what's next, but the demo today will actually be in the upper left hand corner. So just be on the lookout uh, when we have that recovery. That's where the upcoming exercise is going to be. This one's super quick. Not a lot of talking, not a lot of cues from me. We're just gonna get in, get out, and get it done, y'all. So grab your stuff and let's get going. All right, so before we begin, let's just practice a few rounds of breath to really activate your TVA, that deepest, most innermost core muscle that wraps around like a corset. So as you inhale, let everything go. Fill up the rib cage, front, sides, back. As you exhale, feel the pelvic floor lift and engage and engage your TVA. So you should feel like that course is kind of coming in a little bit tighter. All right, let's do that again. Inhale, diaphragmatic inhale. Exhale. Engage. Inhale, let it go. Exhale. You will find that if you are truly engaging your transverse abdominals, that deep core layer, that we have a neutral, neutral uh, back, maybe even a slight roundness. We can never really engage our core like this. So keep that in mind throughout this entire workout. All right, keep that engagement throughout. Don't let it just hang out. So keep the TVA nice and tight. We're gonna start with some rollouts on the forearms. So we're right here. We inhale out, exhale to draw it back in. So ideally we wanna create a line from the backs of the knees to the top of the crown before rolling it back in. We don't want this number, no booties in the air. Keep everything nice and tight. We go one minute on. This begins our workout in three, two, and one. Let's work. One minute on. Everything is time today, so I will say go at your own pace. You don't have to go at the same tempo I am. We're just doing a time circuit. Find a tempo that you can maintain with your perfect form and mind-muscle connection right here. We're hitting the front of the core. Halfway through. Three, two, and one. All right, now we're just gonna add on to it. So after we do that rollout, we're coming off of the knees, engaging the core, working the core a little bit more, knees on the ground, and then we roll it in. Try to maintain that same breath, keep that activation. We go, three, two, and one. <sighs> Inhale out, curl the toes, lift the knees. Try to keep the shoulders stacked over the elbows. three, two, and one. All right, our next exercise is our last position from the last one. So it is a high plank or your forearm plank hold on this ball as a modification, drop it to the knees. Engage, hold, three, two, and one. Elbows are lined underneath the shoulders. TV engaged, spine long, heels reaching back, head reaching forward. None of this. Should be burning right about now. Engage a little bit more.
Halfway. Final 10. Three, two, and one. All right, coming up next, we are getting into some hamstring work. So hamstring curls, booty is lifted off the ground the entire time. It is not this number, all right? <laughs> we go, three, two, and one. Hips are lifted, curl it in, extend with control. Hamstring curls, so really squeeze the hamstrings, control. Notice how there's space underneath my glutes. If you are, if your butt is on the ground, you're probably not feeling very much. Challenge yourself right here, you got it. Inhale, draw it in. Exhale it long. Keep a neutral spine, maybe even a slight posterior tilt of the pelvis. Just don't let that belly dip up. One count in, control, control, control. Three, two, and one. All right, rest. This is our starting and ending position, but try not to let the hips touch. We have feet elevated glute bridges, so we should maintain a posterior tilt of the pelvis as we drive up through the heels. Make sure your knees are driving out, not in. Let's go in three, two, and one. Big squeeze of the glutes. This targets the hamstrings a little bit more as well. Drive through the heels, good. Inhale, draw it up. Exhale, control it on the way down. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, now we have glute ham raises. You're gonna feel it in your hamstrings, in your glutes. Legs stay just like this. Slight external rotation of the hips. So heels in, toes out. We just lift, maintain a posterior tilt, big squeeze in the glutes. Let's go. Notice how posterior tilt, and I'm driving up. Squeezing the glutes, hamstrings are working too. Feeling both. Close tight. After this, we go back to the core. Three, two, and one. All right, coming up next, we have ooh, dead bugs. All right, this is harder than it looks. We're just like so. Look at the demo. We're going to target your transverse abdominals again, so make sure the low back is pressing into the mat. Engage. We go. Three, two, one. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Return to center. I right, inhale long, exhale return. Nice. 
halfway. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, coming up next, we have that ball toss. So we'll start with the ball in our hands. Oh, then we place the ball in our feet. Feet have the ball as we lower, and then we just alternate one at a time. Let's go, keep the engagement. Three, two, and one. Switch it to the feet. And bring it up. Inhale long. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale to lift. Halfway. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, coming up next, we have an overhead setup. So the ball is leading up. We bring it all the way up. Control, control, control. I want you to engage your TVA. Feel that corset get tighter and tighter as we go down. Three, two, and one. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale. Engage, engage, engage. It should burn on the way down. Inhale up. Exhale. Slow and controlled on that eccentric phase. Hitting each vertebrae slow and controlled. Three, two, and one. All right, the time has come. We're going into a decline position. Feet are going on the ball, so stand up. High plank on the hands. Ball goes in, both knees and towards the chest, then we bring it out. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Inhale it in. Exhale, draw it out. Try to keep your shoulders stacked over the wrist. It's burning. We're going to fight through it. 30 seconds. Final 10. Three. Two and one. All right, coming up next, we have hip thrust. So we're gonna get the, give the core a little break, go back to the booty. Whew. We lift that booty up, posterior tilt, big squeeze of the glutes in three, two, and one. Posterior tilt, drive it up, glutes are hard, we control it down. Looking straight ahead. Posterior tilt, drive through the heels, knees going out, not in. Control it. I don't know why I do that. I'm stopping. Just keep going. The best way to see if a muscle is working though, place the hand 
on it. Should be nice and firm. And one. Feet are going back up on this baby. We have pikes. So we are keeping the legs straight, just like the mountain climbers. Same thing, hinging from the hips. Hips are going up. Option, take it back to those mountain climbers. Get into position. Three, two, and one. Halfway. One, Woo final two exercises. All right, we're coming into reverse hypers. Diamond shape position with the legs. We're gonna be squeezing the upper glutes, low back, other side of the core. Get into position. Three, two, and one. You can be on your forearms for this or on your hands. I prefer on my hands. Any wrist discomfort? Come with forearms, so reverse hypers. Bring it up, squeeze glutes, squeeze that low back. Upper glutes, low back. Bad in shape position with the legs. And one final thing, plank hold. You can come back to our third exercise on the forearms if your wrists are bothering you. If we can, decline on the hands. Final exercise. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Line it up. Shoulders pretty close to over the wrist. TVA engage and activate it. Feel that core get tighter. Halfway. And one, that was not your final exercise. My bad, final exercise. Decline push-ups, going back to that same position, adding the push-up if needed, come to the ball, incline position. We go, three, two, and one, let's go.
halfway. Ten seconds. This is it. Three, two, three, and one. Mike about fell out on that one. Drip and sweat. Nice work today. All right. I know we did a lot of wrist work just now. So let's uh, counteract that with a nice little stretch. Woo. Bring it to tabletop position, get rid of the ball. Tabletop position, flip the grip. Fingertips are pointing, pointing in. Big deep inhale, can't talk. Exhale, send it back. Nice work, that was tough. Can't believe I ended it with push-ups. My bad, for the, that's your last exercise. That was not on purpose. This is my bad. That would have been 14, not 15. <laughs> All right. Ah. Roll it out. So that final exercise, let's bring it to a nice little upward facing dog. Final exercise was the most challenging. Decline push-ups. You could have taken it, like I said, hands on the ball. Still very challenging. Or right hip down, left hip. We look over the left shoulder. Definitely can't talk, can't think. You can even modify it more without the stability ball. Or just end it on the plank, whatever you want. It's your exercise, your time. Big deep inhale forward. Exhale, cross at the ankles, and let's get those glutes, shall we? So, a little supported figure four stretch. Right sole the foot on the ground, bring the left ankle over the right quad, start to walk it in. Look at my left knee, make sure it's driving out and not collapsing in. So, drive it out. You can even walk it in. You'll hit that left hip, left glute a little bit more. Oh, man. That was, that was pretty tough, if I do say so myself. All right, let's do that again. If you go round for round two or, or beyond, uh, good job, good job. <laughs> you can always do that. This is a pretty quick exercise, or quick workout, 15 exercises. One minute on, 15 off. Whew, 15 minutes of actual work. All right, y'all, one more round of breath together, then we're on our way, quick stretch, because that was a quick workout, inhale up, and exhale, you rock. My name's Laurie, and have a wonderful rest of your day.